Good morning, greetings and salutations. YouTube, this is your friendly neighborhood armchair philosopher, Fragments of Memory. Um, I was just watching a Crystal and Karazin video. Yes, yours truly was watching a Crystal and Karazin video, and she made a good point. I actually agree with Crystal and Karazin on something. Uh, she did this little vid. It was sort of a spoof vid called Minority Report. And one of the things that she was discussing, I mean, the video was humorous. She's she's pretty good with her play acting. I will give her her props on that. But one of the things she pointed out was that Uber, it's a service where millions of people are using it to supplement income. Now, Uber is being utilized. Uber is, is being said is creating an automated car. And... She's looking at the long-term effects of automation. I believe The Atlantic, uh, years ago, I didn't read the article itself, but it talked about the end of work and how many of our industries are becoming automated. I do remember that that was some of the, the, the crux of the article, at least that's what the article was pointing to, based on the headings and the caption, etc., etc. Uh, Sergeant Willie P., um, he's even talked about how now a lot of these industries are going into robotics. Robotics is kind of the new wave, you know. And a lot of the industries that, especially in the service industry, we're, those that are in the service, and I am in the service industry, I work in food service, so a lot of those jobs that are waiters, waitresses, etc., etc., aren't going to be needed anymore because of the automation of it. Now, do I see it happening tomorrow? No. But... I am concerned about that whole phenomena because in one sense progress is great but unfortunately with progress comes sacrifice and I don't want to be the sacrifice and unfortunately I may end up being the sacrifice so to speak and just like there will be many other sacrifices because there are many of us that I work in the, the food service industry. Uh, many work in the factory. Many of us saw the factory jobs get displaced by machines. Um, now you can order your food on an iPad. You have self checkouts. These are all very good points that she brings up. And I wonder do I think that sometimes us as human beings co sign our own defeat? And I guess that's my question. Do we co-sign our own defeat? Do we get do we get so caught up in the good things of something that we don't see the negative side of something? Because that seem because I think for everything there's an upside and there's a downside. So the downside is in this case, businesses will benefit, but the common everyday person, we may end up out on the street. And then what? I imagine the civil unrest in this society will be crazy. I'm, I'm reminded of the time when new technology started developing during the Industrial Revolution. And you had this team of people that would go around smashing machines called the Luddites. So I wonder if we'll have a 21st century Luddite thing going on. That's just interesting to see. I'm waiting to see those developments, well, develop. Tell me what you think about technology supplanting human labor and it all be passed on to robotics and only those that know the sciences will succeed so that's my two cents on the matter um, tell me what you think peace be easy like Sunday morning it is cold as all get out outside here in the STL so bundle up if you're in the Midwest I think it's cold all over the country I'm hearing so Bundle up wherever you are, and if you've got somebody to cuddle with, cuddle with them just a little bit tighter. Peace. Be easy like Sunday morning. Take care.